this is episode one of Confessions of a Shopaholic. I'm standing in a spare bedroom right now in my dad's house and it is completely covered in clothes. And this is in no way to brag or whatever the fuck. This is literally just so fucking fun because also I need to pack for New York soon. And then now you guys can fucking help me and be like, whoa. And also then like, you just know what's up. I don't know, it's fun. So. This is how I see them. I got these from Valley Village at school. I think I scanned them for like four bucks. The perfect oversized shoe. But like Jordans aren't really my style. Kind of chewy. Um, I said it. Oh, whatever. Um, but the orange. So, number two, a fucking classic. Ew, but they're busted. Little mini black Ugg. But you know what? Fuck Ugg for making a platform version a little bit later. Because I would have been on that. Classic. Your Adidas slide. Perfect. Valley Village. They're kind of giving like Doc Martin. But like a little sandal. And it has this cute little button. And she's cute. You know, with like jean shorts and a cool bag. Like this cool bag. Yeah. Vibes. Reading in the park. Picnic. What do you want? Take me on a date. Who cares? My new running shoes. They are so sexy. But then they're kind of like also cool, gorp core style cool. But I can also run in them and work out. And. You're gonna, I don't have to explain these. These speak for the goddamn a self. Hello? <laughs> Are you kidding? Flip flop. <laughs> Heel. Oh. Like, can you imagine like down the, the sidewalk? Presenting you a DIY project. Hi, how are you? And then I sewed it together and now I have a cute little ballet flap that wraps up your leg. I just recently wore them for a photo shoot actually. So they're quite fun. I'm excited for it to be warm. So a Value Village version of a staple. So it's a little bootleg, a little janky. You get me? It's giving Doc Martin platformed like Steve Madden, all the big brands, whatever. But it's also kind of giving the 70 year old waitress at the weird pub that your dad takes you to. You know? I love these. These are my Steve Madden platform loafers. So I've had them for less than a year and they're so busted up and like really fucked up, like all the leathers peeled. I did wear them a lot, but still, and like the inside's all broken. Um so for that, it's really, it's really hard because I love them. They're perfect. They're everything. But shit quality. Sorry, Steve. I love you. A Valley Village. We're under a trainer. Nothing exciting. It kind of looks like green bad running shoes, but I kind of like that. These sexy little hiking. Gorp core shoes. Thanks, my sister. Er, sorry. Thanks to my sister, Chelsea. She got me these for my birthday. And we have another Jordan. Again, it just doesn't match my style. At the time, loved. You know? An all-time staple, a Converse. Except, you might say, um, those are really yellow. You're right. These were my mom's in high school. So... They've been through it. Here, bring you back to like a homecoming. Yeah. You know, Reebok, whatever. Which was like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit better than its contender. Oh, Mr. Air Force One. And like, will I throw it on? 
Here's the thing. Will I throw it on when I need a shoe I don't give a fuck about and I need a plain sneaker? Yeah. Do I absolutely hate it and think it ruins the outfit? Yes. Would I make fun of somebody on the street? Not verbally, but just in my mind, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> fun pair. Cowboy boots. Got them at a vintage store. Up north, these. Oh, these are so good. This is like, I don't really think I have a lot of things designer. Maybe like three things, if that. But I got these at a women's clothing sale for $5. They're vintage, true religion. Sorry. <laughs> Must I say more? But I will. Green leather. Blue suede. Fucking sick. Silver buttons. This red kind of coral stitching. And then brown leather, sorry. Brown leather. Like, oh, stop, so good. Okay, next pair are also hot shoes. High boots. I feel like the foot looks really big, but on it's giving sleek. <laughs> but yeah, this gold buckling. Bought them at the thrift store, probably super cheap. Cool, like detailing, but the the first time I wore them, I fucked them up because it was snowing. But that wouldn't stop me. Okay, next. People don't back these, which I don't even care. It's giving me Rachel Green. It's giving me, I'm going to make it look good. And then people are going to be like, oh, I got it. I know. Boom. Hi, she's sexy. Just wait. Just wait till you see what I do with these. Uh, you'll see. I love these. Wait, <laughs> they're so cute. It's a little ballerina kitten heel like come on silver detailing <laughs> silver detailing throughout the whole thing and then a studded clasp and they're just so cute here i'll show you but like imagine with white socks like the style you know you know whatever and then there would be like a little strip across your ankle like come on then they want these out of value village as well i think mm. Yeah, Valley Village. Cool. Chill boots. Like, you could wear these in the day-to-day, -day, you know? Like, a good thick heel. Like, really cool, slouchy. Gonna wear them with, like, cool shorts. Pretty white skirt. Like, you get me, you get me, you get me. Last. But certainly not least. I'm taking it off my foot right now. You know, you know. Boom. <laughs> These are so busted. But the Ugg slipper. Look how fucked up. Anyways. Again. These are so awesome. Me and my housemates all have them. In different colors. They, like matched our vibe. And I'm obsessed with them. I just like wear these everywhere. I wear them outside. I wear them like to do anything. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I have a pair of hiking shoes downstairs for when I'm a landscaper in the day. Fashion woman in the night. I guess. Um... Oh, dear. I guess we can do an accessory one. Oh, we can go through just all the categories. You'll see what's coming. It's going to be crazy. If you liked or didn't like any of this, stay fucking tuned. You want to see you? Motherfucking glasses. Let me show you. Ray Bans thrifted. Mm. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'll give you 
then I have these from when I was like a baddie, not even a baddie, just like more Y2K. Mm. Hello. I feel like I would have a dog in a purse when I wear these. Is there another thrift find? Boom. Boom. Goodbye, don't talk to me. Okay. These are for free, but they're like not it, but like maybe I'll wear them when I like I'm hungover and I need to go get matcha. Nobody. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Anyways. These next pair. Let me just bow. Oh. Oh. Who the fuck? Who is she? <laughs> Big ass fucking goggles. <laughs> I don't even know what the brand is, but another thrift store find. <laughs> Would I be any different than the rest and not have a pair of the classic Ray Bands? Like going to girls' camp, everyone cool had these. So I was like, Mom, birthday gift now. Some people would write really nice letters home to their parents from camp. That's like way back, but anyways. I would send my mom, like, send me this t-shirt. I want licorice. <laughs> Love you. And my mom was like, this is what I get. I'm like, got you, girl. Keep you on your toes. Anyways, I need to put my comfy clothes back on. I know I got majorly sidetracked there. Um, so thank you for sticking along. This is part one of a very long series, hopefully. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>